In this video, we'll take a quick walkthrough of how you'd set up Next PVR version 5 with a digital tuner. So I'm going to log in with the default credentials, which are admin, password. Okay, so we'll head over to the settings screen. Now we'll start with the devices page. So on this particular machine, I've only got one tuner installed. It's a DVBT tuner. It's a Hapag digital tuner. So I'll click that device. I hit scan channels. Uh, I'm in New Zealand. So I'll find New Zealand in the list. And there we go. And I'm actually in Wellington. So I'll select this one here. Let's hit scan channels. Now it'll make its way through the various frequencies, um, reporting the number of channels that it's found as it goes. Um, it just takes a few seconds. So there we are, it's made its way through the channels. It's found, found 35 channels and there is the list of them. Now they're all ticked to say I want to keep them, so let's hit save. Uh, now it's asking me if I'd like to update the EPG. The EPG is basically your TV listings. So it's saying, would you like to pull in the TV listings from the from the broadcast? In this case, yes. So update EPG. Now this actually takes a while to sit through. It can take a few minutes, depending on the number of frequencies and so on that you've got. Um, so I'll cut this bit of the video and we'll jump back in in a minute. Okay, so that's complete now. So we've largely got the system up and running and ready to be used. Uh, there's one more thing we'd like to check though. On the general tab, make sure your live TV buffer directory is pointing to somewhere that exists and that your recording directory is set somewhere that you'd like to store your recordings. So now on the channels tab, we should see the list of channels and what's on on each of those channels. Uh, likewise, we go to the TV guide. We can now browse the guide and see what's on TV. You know, we can click shows and see descriptions of what what's that episode's about. We can hit record once to record a single episode. I'll cancel that, or I could have hit record series and it'll record all the episodes of that show. Um, we'll cancel that series. Um, there's also an advanced option where you can go in and uh, use more specific types of recordings. So you might want to record the show Monday to Friday, or um, you might want to keep only the last 10 episodes of a recording, for example. So now on the channels tab, I can click on one of these shows to watch it. takes a few seconds to get started. It's got to convert the format to something that can be played in a web browser. Um, also, if I click on a show that's currently airing in the TV guide, I also get a watch now button, which I can click. And that's really the brief walkthrough. I hope you enjoy next PVR.